everyone! This is Kat Khan from Bay County Public Library with another episode of Upcycled Origami with Kat. And this time we are going to be folding little fantail goldfish. They're very, very simple, as you can see. And this is another design that I got from my last year's origami calendar. If you want to ever invest um, some money in one of these, you not only get the instructions for all kinds of origami designs, you also get the paper with which to fold them, which is really cool. But what we're gonna do is start off with a piece of paper. This is um, roughly six inches square. This is actual origami paper. You can use any kind of colored um, copy paper. I would suggest if you're going to use this kind of paper, make sure you've got a good plastic pen or pencil or a bone folder in hand because it will help you make those creases nice and sharp. So we start off with the paper and you're going to have, if you use origami paper like this, make sure the white side is facing up and you're going to fold it in half into a triangle like so and now you're going to fold each of these side points to this point basically you're making the um the the kabuto the samurai helmet base so you're going to fold it like that and then this one also so you have this now you're going to fold these two side points to meet at the, the middle here. Just fold them across as straight as possible. Like that. And over here. And the reason why I say you really need to make sharp creases is we're going to do some reverse folding again. And so the sharper your crease, the more easily you'll be able to do this. So I'm just running my fingernails along those creases. What you're going to do is you can open this up and you're going to press down on this little center crease here to reverse it and then fold things back along those other creases. So you're putting that whole thing here, this whole triangle here is inside. See? Like that. So now you got to do it on this side. You're opening this up and you're reversing your creases, pushing this center one in and then folding back along those just like that. Okay. Now turn it over to the solid side and then you're going to fold this whole thing in half lengthwise. Just like this. Okay, so now you have all of these. You're going to fold the top layer, you're going to fold it down. Basically, see that crease right there? You're folding it down right along that crease to make the one fin come down like this and turn it over, and you're gonna do the same thing here. So you're just opening it up right along that crease and fold it right down. Now, a little bit tricky here. On this end, you only need the top layer that you're gonna fold up. And you're just gonna fold this up doesn't have to be folded all the way up. You just want to have it kind of folded up so it's kind of in line with this crease here. And that makes the fantail. Last step. Over here, you want to fold this tip in about, about like that much, you can see, okay? And then open this up and push that in 
all the way and tuck it in and fold it down. And right there, you've got your fish. And then what you could do is draw little eyes. You can use a pencil or a black ink a ballpoint pen. The ballpoint is better because if you use like a Sharpie or something, Sharpie is too big and thick. And the other kinds of pens, uh, they take a long time to dry and you end up smearing. I mean, even I'm careful and I still smear. So a ballpoint pen is best. So you just draw like a little solid eye and then draw a circle around it. And on the other side. And you have your fantail goldfish. Very nice and simple. And you can do different things with this. Uh, back behind me, I have a little aquarium <laughs> that I put together with uh, just construction paper and I glued on a couple of my goldfish. You could do things like that. You could have like a whole school of them um, on a piece of paper or lined up on your wall. Um, you can do them in different sizes. This one, I just like this particular size. It works really well, but if you wanted something bigger on your wall, you could definitely use larger paper. And you can choose any color you want. So you can just have some fun making some fan-tailed goldfish.